in in that after credit scene for like six months i was just hoping and praying that the character was frank from transporter and that was going to cross those two years oh. <laughs> that would be awesome and then it was he was just doing a job it was just like that's what that's what i had that just i don't ask questions i follow my rules and i was like that would have been a sweet a sweet bridge because then you would have had that sweet like french police captain involved in hobbs and shaw mm-hmm. what do you What's think good? is another franchise that could cross over An, uh, no galaxy quest <laughs> What? What? The Thermians come to Earth, and they need, they love the Fast and Furious movies. They're under attack by these speedster aliens. They get the cast of Fast and Furious, take them to space, and so Vin Diesel, Dwayne Johnson, uh, like all these characters, uh, Tyrese, all these people, Michelle Rodriguez, and then they have to pretend like they're the Fast characters and help the Thermians. Literally... There is a, a procession of muscle cars driving by <laughs> my house right now, going to a car show at the beach. Because <laughs> I live three minutes from the beach, and it just you you can hear the rumble when you listen to, to it back. It was just like twenty six. There was like a charger and a challenger, and then I was like, "What is? It? They're coming to my house!" But they didn't. <laughs> they know. They know the broadcast right now. Uh, who's your, who's your who's your, Mark, you got your insane idea? I just want to throw you, that out there. That's one of the craziest things I've ever heard you say. I'm down for it, but it is insane. Has Wouldn't it any, be perfect? Has okay. any franchise no, no. been better after introducing the concept of space? Uh, Jason X. So has any franchise been better? <laughs> no, Jason X was better than the ones before it. Mecha Jason. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. Jason X is a pretty pretty rough watch. I like Jason Die Hard takes, 6. Jason takes Manhattan. Just remember that, how bad that was in the ending of the child who maybe is in his, her mind or not. And then juxtapose that with Jason X. Jason okay, X so <laughs> if you take the worst of the franchise, it wasn't Jason X. But I don't, I don't think it was a step forward. Even like Moonraker as in the James Bond franchise felt weird. Oh, yeah. Uh, what? I, that's, that's a lot right there. Uh, Marvel? Marvel, yeah, mm, they got that. Yeah. yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy got what was a whole step above. Yeah, and you've got um, Doctor Strange, he went to space to battle his bad guy or another dimension. Yeah, yeah. all right, uh, all right. I mean, one I'm of the, on board uh, with the galaxy. That's, that's... Well, the that franchise idea. that I thought I wanted to throw out there was what if Fast and Furious crossed over with John Wick? Ooh. <laughs> Because it feels like they're touching. They're like kissing cousins. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I live my... Who wins? John Wick. John Wick. Dom Tourette. You think... But in the fourth Fast and Furious film, Dom gets shot in the shoulder. And he just looks at the guy who does it and then pulverizes him. I mean, John like, Wick fell off a building. Yeah, it's true. John Wick also wouldn't miss and hit him in the head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's John true. Wick would annihilate him. I'm Who convinced wins? that John Wick 4 is going to do one continuous shot of just him killing people for an hour and a half. <laughs> no cuts. No cuts. The truck driver from the first Fast and Furious versus John Wick. <laughs> the truck John driver. Wick. John, <laughs> John Wick. Mark, you can't, you can't buff up your team mid, mid-conversation by just saying, like, he could beat John Wick. <laughs> All right. Th- uh, third pick, David. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to pick... A character that I think is vastly underrated, completely underrated, and that's Sookie from the second oh, one. Oh, that was mine! I knew it. I knew it. And, she's and the best. She is. She's really good. Here's the thing: like, I I don't love Fast and Furious two. I don't think the ending makes any sense, and I think the acting is bad. However, I think it's almost a 180, 180 degree like turn in the franchise. Like the first one is, is hyper masculine, almost to the point that like it's it could be off putting. And the second one introduces this as like all female group uh, of racers who are incredibly competent that we haven't seen uh, replicated throughout the rest of the series. Yeah. yeah. And she's chill. She's just part of the mm-hmm. gang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hanging out, fits right in. Yeah. She puts her, like, she might get arrested for them too by when, when her and Tez drive those cars away. Mm hmm. And, and I, I know I'm ragging on it. Like, I still like it. Don't get me wrong. I just think okay. it's not, I think it just doesn't make sense. Like, I, I, I cannot have, I haven't had, I haven't had someone explain to me how the ending of that movie works because it's like there's a car chase where they're killing a bunch of cops, but they're the good guys. Were they trying to steal the money? I just I don't understand the ending and I just have to sit back and watch it. It's just Florida. It's just, just that's, what, that's yeah. what happens every day in Florida. 
Florida. Okay. Just Florida. <laughs> But there are ejection seats, so uh, we'll go with that. <laughs> Ejecto Cito, cuz. Amazing. All right, uh, who's up now, Megan? Uh, Megan. Yeah. So I'm going to cast someone, or I'm going to pick someone more out of wishful uh, storytelling for the future, and that's Magdalene Shaw, Helen Mirren. <gasps> oh, she was because my I just, I'm, <laughs> I'm speaking it into existence. I want her to be in these series more. She's so funny. Helen Mirren just a fantastic actress. I would love to see how they can use her more. I want to see her drive a car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, like, an 87 Lotus. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Like, a classy old British car. Yeah. Amazing. It's amazing that the Shaws are gone. We picked all the Shaws. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. Like, you and I picked all the Shaws. Yeah, well, you guys are... So if you're watch if you're watching this in a couple of weeks we're going to release an episode it, so we have a thing on movie films and flicks called fake flicks and yeah. so so far Adam and I have made up sharks in Sweden and the Sunset Shark Club we're doing a movie called Accelerate which is a prequel to Fast and Furious and it's where Helen Mirren meets the parents of the Shaws played by Clint Eastwood and Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the movie poster. Adam is fantastic. It's it's so yeah. Look out for that. It's going to be a prequel to the Fast movies called Accelerate. Amazing. Yeah. No, but she. I love when she in Hobbs and Shaw. She takes off her chains, and she's just mm -hmm. she's supposed to be in the she's supposed to be in prison for three weeks, but she's in there for like five years because of bad behavior. But I kind of I kind of love like it. I like that her son tells her she's losing it if she wasn't able to escape. Yeah, I dig it. But it's a great comeback. She's like it's a vacation. Yeah. <laughs> I get to, she probably rules that place in there. And then her supposedly upstanding children with their expunged records bring her away to break out of prison. It's it's pretty amazing. It's also like, I feel like no Shaw is anywhere that that Shaw doesn't intend to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Unless you're in the I hospital hope. with Owen. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe, maybe he intended that. Maybe he wanted yeah. to get his brother back. You wait till the next movie. It'll all come full circle. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> So it I mean, turns Owen's out, gonna die, right? Like, so, let's see, Owen honest, was, right? so it turns out Owen was fine, but he went into that hospital because all those police were evil, and so he yeah. knew his see? brother would come to I see knew him. Was an and so no. all those cops that he murdered were bad cops, and those doctors—they were part of the so, twelve. All those doctors. What, what was happening in that hospital was they were doing the early stages of that virus research for the Hobbs and Shaw virus. Wait. Yeah. Did you say they were part of the twelve? Did we just bring Killing Eve into this? Yeah, I brought the show Killing <laughs> Eve into it. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. They were doing research for the virus, and yeah. and the show. Owen, yeah, and they knew it. You're there welcome. You I want to be associate producer on this this movie here. I think we All essentially right. are at this point in time. All right, who's? Am I up next? No, yes. I'm up next. Oh, you got it. You got and it. My next pull is my boy Jesse. Oh. Jesse. I feel like he never he never got his shake. And if we can bring Han back, we can bring Jesse back. Yeah. No one's dead forever. And I feel like <laughs> he was he was the heart of that first movie. He was, yeah. Right? So my team's gotta have some heart. Jesse's gonna be why Vince is an okay guy on my team. I love his story too. His dad's in prison. He just wants to have some cars for him and his dad when he gets out. So here's the thing. In this movie that this team are doing, where Jesse's in it, his dad gets out of prison. Who plays his dad? Hmm. Oh wow! Timothy Sean. Oliphant. Timothy Oliphant. Timothy Oliphant. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that would be great. I was thinking Sean Bean. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Oh. Sean and Bean. He lives. I, who Who is the guy who played um, the character with the mohawk in Guardians of the Galaxy? Michael Rooker? Yeah, Michael. Why is it Michael Rooker in, in this Fast series? Nine. He's in Fast Nine. What he is? Yeah. Oh wow. He could yeah. be his dad. There you go. Jesse's dad is Michael Rooker. Wow. Oh man, I love it. He calls him Pop, like Mary Poppins, as an inside joke. <laughs> oh, y'all. Yeah. All right. So I got I got my third pick here. Third and fourth. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. Uh, I'm going Roman. Roman from Too Fast, Too Furious. First of all, he never lost to the truck driver in the first one, and he never lost to the truck driver in the fourth one. All right? He's so he has nothing to do with those those debacles. <laughs> right? Roman. Much fun, a, a flawless record. 
he is just the he's the he's the comedic relief. He never goes too far over the top. He's always like him. I think him and I love the chemistry between him and and Brian. And if you think about him as a character, he showed up in five ready to help. So he always complains, but he's always there. Mm-hmm. So, and I like that about him. He's not what my favorite part of the fast movies are not the characters who are bulletproof. I like Brian. I like Han. I like uh, Giselle. I like Letty. People who can get hurt. People who aren't like the big guys. And I, I just dig Roman. He complains a lot. He has fun. He's funny. I love when The Rock shoots the vending machine so he can eat chips. Like, it's Roman all day. It's got to be Roman. So I'm taking, I'm taking Roman in my squad. So Mark, we go. chatted about this. Uh, my favorite Roman scene, Roman scene is the car scene when he's being dragged across the uh, uh, Arctic by the car door. Yes. It's, it's a great scene, but I refer to it as Roman's magic car door because yeah. it's, <laughs> Because it's one bulletproof, but not carpoon proof. <laughs> yeah, it's. I love. I don't. The logic in these movies are insane, and I think it's perfect. Like, yeah, yeah these GPS systems will parachute your cars perfectly where they need to go. Cool. <laughs> I get it. It works. What, what did I think the writer was like, what is his name? Gary or something? He's just like Neil. Moore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neil. He's like, yeah, here yeah. we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think they applied the looper logic, right? Where Bruce Willis yes. says, and he's like, I'm not explaining time travel to you. Let's move on. Like, he's just like, he says directly into the camera lens. It's, it's fake science. Don't worry about it. Get over yourself. I'm not, I'm not doing this. Doesn't he want to take a leadership role in that one? Mm-hmm. He claims uh, <laughs> yeah. credit for the plan. He comes up with that plan, doesn't he? <laughs> he does, he yeah. Fix the Lambo. Uh, all right. All right. So my... Next one is Leon, who's Johnny Johnny Strong in oh. the Fast and the Furious. Mm. He's like the one guy who hasn't come back. Mm-hmm. Yep. S- bring him back. Bring him why, back. Why not? Did you Let's read come. anything about why he didn't come back? No, I guess it, you know he didn't have to come back in two, then three. He wasn't that big of a thing. I don't know if he would have fit into four because they killed off Letty, but he would have helped in four. Yeah. But I mean, here's the thing about that guy is when they pull up to the, the restaurant that serves tuna fish, no crust, um, he's the guy who's running a shotgun in Vince's car. And how Whoa. can he be in this game riding a shotgun? Like, wow. What is he wrong? Well, he, he doesn't do anything bad, right? Yeah, are, you saying he's he's probably, are you saying he rides Are you saying he rides shotgun because he's, like, equal with Dom or he gets shotgun? Is that what you're saying? No, I just don't think they trust him with his own car. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he has his own car because he's the lookout in, yeah. in the, the opening race and at the end. He's the one who goes back and help Letty. Um, so I read about that actor and he was like, in, in his mind, Leon didn't come back because in the first movie, he was like, I think this is a bad idea. We shouldn't rob this this trucker, this tank that uh, basically wrecks Boy, everyone. Yeah. yeah. And essentially, he just says like he he just got out of the business because he knew it was dangerous. In his mind, but then the actor was also like, "I really want to come back, so like, please, yeah. please hire me." <laughs> Guys, please, please, the most please. successful movies of all time. I want to be in those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll make some bad decisions for that. I'm very happy with my squad. I'm very happy with uh, Leon. That's what a good pick. How many did you have? I have four right now. I have the two truck drivers, Roman and Leon. So Adam, you're up now. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go with the home improvement kid from Too Fast or from Tokyo Drift. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> Because we've seen what Han can do with an impressionable youth that wants to go fast. So imagine that kid with his dad's money and his Dodge Viper under the tutelage of Han. Wow. Unstoppable. I like that he was almost close to tears during some of these races. Like He looked like he was going to cry. Yeah. This bully. And it made him a little more human. Like, this kid is really sort of messed up inside. There were points in that where I was, like, rooting for him. Because it's like, why are you driving through buildings and stuff right now, man? Just run the race. Yeah. <laughs> he's met, you know, his girl. Like, he's a he's a high school kid, right? He's probably yeah. mixed up. He, he's not an adult. I mean, he's a jerk. Career. Yeah. I mean, that's a big high school, and he seems to be the star athlete. Yeah. Yeah. So he's, <laughs> he's my pick on my team. He's got – Dripping with potential. Oh, brother. <laughs> All right, uh, Meg? Uh, I'm going to go with Ramsey, Nathalie Emanuel. Oh. From what What was she in, six and seven? Six and seven and eight. Okay, six and mm-hmm. seven. No, seven and eight. Seven yeah, eight. there. She, 
Well, I, I like the personal story that Vin Diesel wanted to bring her in. He wanted um, 